and today we are going to do the lesson algebraic inequalities. First, let's identify what is an inequality. X plus 3 is greater than 5. Here, an inequality symbol is used. X plus 3 is greater than 5. It is an algebraic inequality. Another example, x minus 2 less than 10. x minus 2 less than 10. It is also an inequality. x plus 1 greater than or equal so x plus 1 greater than or equal 7. x minus 10 less than or equal 25. It, these are called inequalities. Now, let's see how to represent the integral solution and all solutions of an inequality on a number of Let's see the first example. x plus 3 greater than 5. First, we have to re solve this inequality. x plus 3 greater than 5. First, we have to remove plus 3. x plus 3. To remove plus 3, we have to subtract 3 from both sides of that inequality. Just like solving equations. Minus 3. Then, x greater than 5 minus 3, 2. x greater than 2. This is the solution of this inequality. x should be greater than 2. Integral solution. What are the integral solutions? The integers which satisfy this inequality is named as Integral solution. X greater than 2. We have to take the integers which are greater than 2. Then what are the integral solutions? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are the integral solutions. On the number line. Negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How do we represent the, all the solutions on this number line? X should be greater than 2. So, first mark 2 on the number line, but don't shade the uh, dot because X is not equal to 2. So, you have to take x is greater than 2. So you have to take all the solutions. You have to mark all the solutions like this. All the solutions. Okay. Let's see another example. The second one. x minus 7 less than 4. Now let's first let's find the uh, value of x which satisfy this inequality. x minus 7 less than 4. To remove minus 7, we have to add 7 to the both side of this inequality. x 
less than four percent low. X should be less than low. If you want to mark the integral solutions on the number line, you have to take only the integers which satisfy this inequality. Then x less than 11 means it should be less than 11 means x should be 10, 9, 8, 7. Those values we can take as x. These are called integral solutions. How to represent the integral solutions on the number line? Negative numbers also we can take as the integral solution. All the solutions, how do we represent all the solutions? You have to mark 11 but don't share because x is not equal to 11 then plus that. It should be less than the one. You have to shape like this. Okay. Then you can do the previous exercise using this knowledge. Then let's see how to find the value of the next subtopic inequalities of the form ax plus b greater than or equal or less than c. Inequalities of the form ax plus b greater than, equal or less than c. Okay. Example number one. Two x plus one greater than five. First, let's solve this inequality. Solving inequality means just like solving equations. Two x plus one greater than five. First, you have to remove plus 1. 2x plus 1 minus 1 greater than 5 minus 1. When we add or subtract the same thing from both sides of an inequality, do not need to change the inequality symbol. Then 2x greater than 4. Now to find the value of x, you have to divide both sides by 2. Here we have to divide it by both sides by positive 2 root. So, no need to change the inequality symbol. X greater than 2. X greater than 2. If you would want to uh, mark the integral solutions on the number line, you have to mark only positive 3, positive 4, positive 5, positive 6. Just like you have to mark all the solutions on the number line. positive 2 but don't say because x is not equal to 2 then greater than integrals so all the solutions x greater than 2 not more like this example number 2 minus 3 plus than 7. When we solve this inequality also, we can give us the uh, knowledge solving equation. 2x minus 3. 
to remove minus 3, you have to add 3 to the both side of this inequality. Here when adding the same thing, same number to the both side of an inequality, no need to change the inequality symbol. Then 2x less than 10 divided by 2. Here the both side are divided by positive 2, so no need to change x less than 5. Then what are the integral solutions? x less than 5. What are the integral solutions? Positive 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. These are the integral solutions. Now let's represent all the solutions from the number line. Less than 5. So you have to mark 5. Don't shape less than Less than 5. 5 minus 2x greater than positive 7. 5 minus 2x greater than positive 7. First we have to remove 5. That is positive 5. So you have to subtract 5 from both sides of this inequality. Then negative 2x greater than 7 minus 5, 2. Now to remove negative 2, you have to divide both sides by negative 2. When, when an inequality, both sides of an inequality are divided by negative number, the inequality signs should be changed. So, do the, the next line, negative 2x divided by negative 2, 2 divided by negative 2. You have to change the direction of the inequality symbol. So, x less than 2 divided by negative 2, positive divided by negative, negative 2 by 2, 1. So, x less than negative 1. How do we represent the, uh, in what are the integral solutions? x less than negative 1, then what are the integral solutions? Negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, these are the integral solutions. Represent the, all the solutions on the number line. x less than negative 1, you have to mark negative 1, don't shape because x is not equal to negative 1, less than, less than. Okay, let's see another example. Negative divided by negative positive 
6 divided by 3 positive 2. X greater than or equal positive 2. Here what are the integral solutions? X greater than or equal to. Then what are the integral solutions? Positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5. All we can take these numbers which are greater than or equal to. The number 2, positive 2 and the integrals are integers which are greater than positive 2. They are 3, 4, 5 all. Then x greater than or equal positive 2. All the solutions first mark positive 2. Here x equal to. So you have to shape. Then greater than. Greater than 2. Okay. Then you can do the exercise 25.1. Uh, first question, solve each of the following inequality. The second one, you have to uh, solve the given inequality and find the integral, set of integral solutions. Let's see the next topic. Let's see the next topic. Pages represented by inequalities of the form y greater than equal or less than a and x greater than equal or less than b. First, let's identify the regions which are separated by a line parallel to the y-axis. This is the coordinate plane now. Now, positive 1, positive 3, positive 4, positive 6. Here, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Now first I am going to uh, draw the line which, is, which are parallel to the y-axis. x equals 3. The line x equals 3 it is parallel to the y-axis. Through the point 3 you have to draw a line segment which is parallel to the y-axis. It should be parallel to the y-axis. This is named as x equals 3. Then what is the line x equals minus 2? Through this point, minus 2, you have to draw a line which is parallel to the y-axis. That is x equals minus 2. This is the line x equals minus 2. Okay, now uh, let's identify the lines which are parallel to the x axis. Y equals positive 4. Why positive 4? It should be through this point 0, 4. This point you have to draw a line segment which is parallel to the x axis. This line is y equals 4. The, the fourth line y equals minus 2. Then here y equals minus 2. To this point, you have to draw a line which is parallel to the x-axis that is y equals minus 2. Now, let's identify the regions which are parallel to the x-axis and the y-axis. Plane. X greater than O equal positive 2. What is X equals to? 
It should be a line parallel to the y axis. x equals 2. This is the line which is parallel to the y axis through the point x equals 2. This line is named as x equals 2. Now the region x should be greater than or equals 2. The y coordinate, no need to consider about the y coordinate. It may be positive value or 0 or negative value. The But the x coordinate should be greater than or equals 2. So if it is equal, this is the line x equals 2. This is the region which are greater than positive 2. So, uh, tell me the coordinates of this uh, of a point in this region. 2 positive 3, 2 0, 2 negative 4, 5 0, 3 negative 4. Y coordinate may be 0 or positive, any positive value or any negative value. But the X coordinate should be 2 or greater than 2. Here positive 2, here 5, it is greater than 2, 3 also greater than 2. X coordinate should be greater than or equals to may, Y coordinate may be positive, may be negative or 0. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's see another example. Greater than positive 3. X greater than 3. What is the line? X equals 3. Through this point, X equals 3. You have to draw a line which is parallel to the Y axis. But X is not equals to 3. No. So, you have to mark a dotted line through this point. Dotted line means it is not equal to that value. X greater than positive 3. Greater than. So, this is the region x greater than 3. x greater than 3. Then let's find some coordinates of the point which belong to this region. Five zero six positive 4. x coordinate should be greater than 3. 4, 5, 6. Anybody. But the y coordinate may be 0 or negative number or any positive value. Well, it doesn't matter. Another example positive 4. Positive 4, 4, 4. It is also belong to this region. Okay, let's see another example. Example number 3. Example number 3. x less than or equals negative 2. First, we have to identify what is the line x equals negative 2. If x equals negative 2, through this point, we have to draw a line which is parallel to the y axis. It should be a dotted line or a straight line segment. It should be a straight line segment because x equals negative 2. x equals negative 2. So, you have to draw a line, straight line, which is parallel to the y axis through the point negative 2. Then x less than negative 2 less than. This is the region. Now let's find the, some coordinates of points uh, uh, which belong to this region. x coordinate should be negative 2 or less than negative 2. It means negative 2 you can take. Uh, x coordinate as negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, likewise. Negative 2. A y coordinate should may be 0 or any negative value or any positive value. So, negative 2, 0. Negative 3, positive 4. Negative 4, uh, negative 6. X coordinate should be negative 2 or less than negative 2. It means negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, likewise. Y coordinate may be 0, any negative value, any positive value. Okay. 
and example fourth part example number 4 Than negative one. X plus than negative one. First, you have to identify what is the line x equals negative one. It is the line which is parallel to the y-axis. Let's see the x plus than negative three. If you take negative one, it is not clear. So let's take x plus than negative three. Now, if it is x plus than negative three, that is the line which is parallel to the y-axis through the point. Negative three. It should be a dotted line because x is not equal to negative three. It should be a dotted line. Less than. So you have to take this figure. What are the coordinates of the points which belong to this figure? You have to consider about the x coordinate. It should be less than negative three. It means You can take x coordinate as negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven. As you wish, you can take negative five. Y coordinate may be any integer. You can take zero, negative four, seven, negative five, positive six. Next one, negative four, negative three. Y coordinate may be positive or zero or any negative integer. You can take, but the x coordinate should be less than negative three. Means negative four, negative five, like just like you can take. Okay. Next example. Now let's see what are the regions which which is parallel to y axis. Okay. Y greater than no equal positive four. Y greater than no equal positive four. First, let's identify what is the line Y equals four. It is the line which is parallel to the x-axis through the point Y equals four. Here Y equals four, so that's why I draw a line, straight line. Now greater than four, greater than You have to mark this region greater than four. Okay. Now, what are the coordinates of the points which is below, which belong to this region? X coordinate may be any negative value, any zero, or any positive value. But the y coordinate should be four or greater than four. Zero four three five negative two four all are considered as the points which belong to this region. Here x coordinate may be zero negative value positive value, but the y coordinate should be four or greater than positive four. Example next example. Y greater than negative three. Y greater than negative three. What is the line? Y equals negative three. It is a line which is parallel to the x-axis through the point negative three. So here y is not equal to negative three. So you have to draw a dotted line through the point negative three. Here y greater than. So you have to take this region. Okay. Uh, what are the point? What are the coordinates of the point which belong to this region? X coordinate may be zero, any negative value or any positive value. So negative six. But Y coordinate should be greater than negative three. Negative two. Negative five. Zero. Negative four. Positive four. Zero. Negative one. All are belong to this field. Okay. Next one.
y less than or equal positive to what is the line y equals to it is a line which is parallel to the x axis so y equals positive to so you have to draw a straight line not a dotted line positive to then less than less than y less than positive 2 okay coordinates x coordinate may be any negative 0 or any positive value so y coordinate should be 2 or less than 2 2 1 0 any negative value you can take Positive 3, 0. Here y coordinate 0. It is less than positive 2. So, next one. Negative 2, positive 5. These are half scale. Okay, here x is not equal to negative 2. It is not equal to negative 2. So, you can't draw a straight line a Straight line segment. You have to draw a dotted line because negative 2 is not equal to x. x equal to less than positive 5. So you have to draw a straight line segment which is parallel to the y-axis to the point 5. Now x greater than negative 2, negative 2, greater than this direction. x less than or equal 5, less than. So you have to take this region to these two lines. Okay. What are the coordinates of the points which belong to this region? Y coordinate may be any value. Y coordinate may be any value. Negative value, any positive value or zero. But the X coordinate should be greater than negative 2. It means negative 1. You can take 0, positive 1, 2, 3, 4 and also 5. You can take as the X coordinate. Next one. Less than or equal negative 3 and x greater than positive 4. Negative 3, positive 4. x equals negative 3. So you have to draw a straight line segment. Here x greater than positive 4. So Draw a dotted line. 
x less than or equal negative less than this direction. Here x greater than positive 4. You have to take the this direction. So these are the regions. Okay. Uh, how do we write the coordinates of the points which belong to this region? One coordinate may be any positive value, zero, or any negative value. But the y or x coordinate should be less than or equal negative 3 or greater than positive 4. It means you can take x coordinate as negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6 as well as uh, positive 5, 6, 7, these numbers you can take as the x coordinate. Y coordinate may be any integer. Okay. Example number 4. Y less than or equal positive 4. Y less than or equal positive 4. X coordinate. The Y axis here 0. Positive 4. Y equals positive 4. That is the line. The straight line segment it is parallel to the X axis. Y less than. Less than. You have to take this region. If it is y greater than, you have to take the other, other region. Okay. Which one? As I think in this region, you can write the coordinates of each point. X coordinate may be any value. The y coordinate should be positive 4 or less than positive 4. It means you can take positive 4, positive 3, positive 2, positive 1, 0 or any negative integer. Uh, next one. Example number 5. Sorry, y greater than negative 3. Y greater than negative 3. Negative 3. Greater than. Y is not equal to negative 3. So you can't draw a straight line segment. It should be a dotted line which is parallel to the x axis. And y greater than. Greater than. The y coordinate should be greater than negative 3. It means you can take negative 2, negative 1, 0 and any positive integer as the y coordinate. Okay, let's see another example. Example number 6. Y greater than negative 2 and less than or equal positive 4. Negative 2. Positive 4. Positive 4. Equal. So I draw a straight line segment which is parallel to the x axis. Here y is not equal to negative 2. So you have to draw a dotted line here. Y greater than negative 2. Greater than. Here y less than positive 4. This side. So you have to take the region within these two lines. So what are the coordinates? X coordinate may be any value. Any positive, any negative or 0. But the y coordinate should be positive 4 or less than positive 4. But it should be greater than negative 2. It means you can take negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 as the y coordinate. Okay. Uh, let's see the last example. Here, y less 
than positive 2. Positive 2, it is dot equals to y. So, draw a dotted line. Y equals so greater than positive 6. So, draw a straight line. Y less than means this side greater than. So, you have to take these two regions. What are the coordinates? You can write any coordinate, but x coordinate may be any value, any negative value, any positive value or 0. But the y coordinate should be uh, less than 2 or greater than or equal positive 6. It means you can take positive 1, 0, negative 1, negative and any negative value and 6, 7, 8 and 9 you can take as the y coordinate. Okay. Uh, you can do the exercise 25.2 using this knowledge. The next subtopic, inequalities of the form y greater than or equal or less than x. Find out that subtopic, inequalities of the form y greater than y greater than equal or less than x. What is the line y equals x? Coordinate plane. x, y, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Okay, when x equals positive 1, now we are going to draw the line y equals x. But we are going to identify what is the line y equals x. Okay, when x equals 1, y also positive 1. This is the point. When x equals positive 2, y also positive 2. When x equals 0, y also 0. When x equals negative 2, y also negative 2. So, this is the line y equals x. y equals x. Here you know that. That is the angle 90 degrees. So, this one should be 45 degrees. It means this is the bisect of this right angle. Okay. Now, let's identify what is the region y greater than x. Here, y axis, x axis 0. We know that the line y equal x. And but it is not y is not equal to x. So you have to draw a dotted line. It should be a dotted line. It should be a dotted line. Y greater than x. Y is greater than x. So you have to take this region. Y greater than x. This is equal y equal x. Now y greater than y less than x. Here also you have to draw a dotted line because y is not equal to x. Here y less than x. y less than x. This is the region y less than x. x is greater than y. Third one y greater than or equal x. Here you can you have to draw a straight line segment because y equals to x. This is the read. The last one y less than or equal x. Here also you can draw a straight line segment because y equals x. This is the region. Okay, you can write the coordinates of each uh, the uh, points which belong to each region. Here, when you write the coordinate, 
if you you can take any coordinate uh, any value as x if you write negative 2 in a negative zero you, in a negative value or in a positive value you can take as uh, x coordinate but y coordinate should be greater than the x coordinate if you select negative 2 as the x coordinate y coordinate should be negative 1 0 1 2 3 like this if you take positive 4 as the x coordinate y coordinate should be greater than 4 5 6 7 any value you can take if what is the coordinate x coordinate if you take negative 3 as the x coordinate y coordinate should be less than negative 3 it means we have to take y coordinate as negative 4 negative 5 negative 6 any value you can take uh, if you take positive 4 as the x coordinate y coordinate may be 3 2 1 positive 0 any negative you can take if you take x coordinate as negative 3 y coordinate also may be negative 3 or greater than negative 3 uh, you can take negative 3 also because x equals y negative 3 negative 3 negative 3 y coordinate may be greater than negative 3 it means negative 2 negative 1 0 any positive value so if you take positive 5 as the x coordinate y coordinate may be 5, 6, 7, 8, anywhere. Here, if you take x coordinate as a negative 3, y coordinate should be equals negative 3 or less than negative 3. Negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, these numbers you can take. Positive 2, if the x coordinate is positive 2, you can take 2, 1, 0, any negative integer you can take as the coordinate. Okay, uh, you can ascertain, you can complete the exercise 25.3 also. Uh, complete all the exercises, there are 3 exercises, 25.1, 2 and 3. Complete these exercises and uh, do the past papers also. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day.